It's Jungle Beats Radio, and we're about to do a reaction and review to Sanfa's recent 2017 album, Process. Sanfa is an incredible British talent with an incredibly unique voice. He, We know him from, like, he got on from Drake. Was he on Poundcake? I just got it in the background here. He was on Too Much. Too much. That's and the that's, track. I'm like, wow. Just a beautiful voice. Yeah, that was the first smile too. He's on most recently Saint Pablo on Kanye West. One of my mm-hmm. favorite tracks on the album. Once you work with Drake and Kanye without much knowledge behind you in terms of, because I don't think he had a huge fan base before he did these uh, these tracks. Right, I agree. And he dropped a, he dropped his EP Jewel in 2013. Yeah. Um, he did an EP Sun Danza in 2010. I didn't check out any of those. I only have Jewel and and a lot of sing his single stuff. First track. I can't oh, go into his show before I get into the track. Go into his show when he's coming in a couple of months later yeah. this year. I guess this album will dictate whether you go. It will. That's that's completely what's happening right now. Let's, you got anything else you want to say? Skirt! Skirt, skirt! Plastic 100 Degrees is the first track. I've heard this before on his SoundCloud. And he did a music video, I believe, so I might pull that up. Oh, hell yeah. Let's get that music video up. No, it looks like it's right. It's a live performance. Hell yeah. Oh, but that's going to be different, isn't it? Because if it's a live performance, it's going to be different to it's the album shorter. version. Yeah. So, I'm not, okay, we'll keep it here then. We'll keep it here. Plastic 100 degrees. Did you change it? This is different. This is different. So they don't much from the Beautiful, phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. That's how good it is, man. It makes you <laughs> inaudible. That's what makes you inaudible. I didn't choose to be this way. That was one hell of an opener. The reduction to the vocals to just the way that you lose yourself in that track. I'm definitely going back to that track. I don't give. I don't give a fuck. The rest of this album is pussy juice. Like that was fucking awesome. That was that was magical. That was. I can see you closing your eyes for a good two minutes and yeah, losing yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's that's like, what I feel like you do with this music. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I do with this music. Mm. He, you know what? I'm, you know what I think Sanford is. I think Sanford is what. I think Sanford's the Black James Blake for me. James Blake is also from the UK. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. I don't mean the similar voice, but the way I mean makes the feel. A hundred percent. And there's n- so few artists who can just capture me like that, mm. and that's why I love music. And Jungle Beats can come in any forms. That's what any like when forms. we started like trying to pick a name, uh, Jungle Beats has always like stood out. But like, and Jungle Beats is more associated with like heavier bangers. But no, these can be Jungle Beats to me. Mm-hmm. Anything can be Jungle Beats. Exactly. The next one um, has a music video. But before I'm going to get into the music, video, I want to show you real quick the live version because for those who are familiar with the original Plastic 100 Degrees or the live version, it's very stripped down. We had none of those instrumentations and there's so many layers to it now. Just shimmering keys and pianos. And yeah. It's just... Uh, yeah, let me show you real quick. Hold up. made out of plastic out here. And usually I'd run home That's so different to the track that we It's like two whole different versions Oh, in hell and Say that again Those tracks were just so... They were completely different If you listen to this And the other track You'd connect it, but only just Like, if I, if no one told me If no one told me that like those tracks were like the same I would probably wouldn't have picked it up Really? Because, yeah, because every time I listen to the track, I, I don't take in lyrics the first time I listen oh, to it. Okay. And there's there's actually an added verse to the origi- for the one on the album, the album version. Wow. Um, compared oh, to the live longer. version. Um, either way, both beautiful. Oh. I'd recommend getting the live version what, and the album. What would you do if you were walking past and you just saw him on the piano just doing that? I the camera's w- behind him. I, I, w- I wouldn't say a word. I, I would just sit down and listen. You would just go up there, pull down your pants, and just stroke yourself gently. In my mind, <laughs> I would be mentally stroking myself because of that's how beautiful it is. Because um, that's what you do when you hear things no. that are beautiful. <laughs> and then we all, we all do. We all do. Hell no, that's a great way to start the album. I'm glad you showed me that too. 
No, oh, thanks. Uh, next one is actually a music video <laughs> for Blood On Me, track two. Oh, it's a video as well? Yeah. No, come back around. You'd not like this this music or his music. What did the car symbolize and how the hell did they get that in the tree? What what I just said then? Yeah, I asked that question on my original car. I was like, what does the car symbolize and why how the hell did they get that car in a tree? Did they get a crane for that? I mean I know there were special effects with like the vines growing out of him. I don't I still don't know what that represented. Uh, so I read a comment I heard him and the weekend work together. Now that 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 would be great. Would be Exceptional, and that's not that's kind of like I can imagine that happening. He's worked with Drake and Kanye already, like pfft. Blood on Me, incredible song. Mm. It's like he's being chased by something, by his demons, by his fears. Something track three, Cora sings. <laughs> Like that song could be put in a movie, like a um, like a fairy tale movie or something like that. Especially the way it started. Remind me of a scene when, like, in a movie where someone finally figures out what they want to do, and there's like a montage of them doing all that to prepare right, themselves right, to right, do right. it. That's just kind of how I felt about it. Yeah, because I haven't heard a song like that from Sanford before. With such an kind of an upbeat tempo. Yeah, there's like the build up, and then you don't expect it. Then those big banging, just like boom, 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 yeah. boom, come in. And it's just like, whew. I like that take. I like that. No, uh, next track is No One Knows Me, like the piano. And that's track four, and there's a music video just dropped for that. Hey, right, let's go. No one knows me like the piano in my blow Loves me like the piano. It snows me, man. It snows me. That's a beautiful song. Was that woman representing his mother in his home? Or was she representing somebody else? She re represents his memories fading away in time. Huh. I believe. Well, what, it's what I read. Yeah, Sorry, I don't it was, a, it was a simple video that was quite beautiful. Yeah, that that's really interesting. I wonder if it represents his mother or his memories fading or something else that we haven't considered. Hmm. Um, beautiful regardless, just Sanford's voice. Um, track five, halfway through, Take Me Outside. Not sure how to feel. Does he I love those 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 key, are they keys at the end. Those sh it's like shimmering stars. That's what it sounded like, but that's not an instrument. I love just the way uh, some of the live instrumentation, the piano, like the way that the sound was so different. Like some of the keys were really dark. Then straight away, there'd be like this sort of just I don't know. I can't really explain. It. The keys were just like they were so different, but it just worked. This um this reaction is going to be a little more unique. We're just sitting here, and that's what it's going to be because it's, that's the type of music it is. Yeah, it's reflecting. Um, but it's very feel. Like, I'm just zoning out to all these tracks. Yeah, like, I don't have a lot of words for these besides adjectives to describe more adjectives like, of beautiful. I wouldn't put in this music that I'd like. Like I'm, not, I'm still not sure if I'm like just really enjoying this because it's not music like normally listen to. But like, oh, there's okay. definitely a lot of appreciation and just realizing how beautiful it really is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going. Track six. Reverse faults. The production is crazy. Whew, this is right there with track one for me. Really good. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I just you just lose yourself to it, and this is the build up along with his vocals, really, really beautiful. I'm feeling even James Blake vibes with the production, and this the way that that track makes me feel. Hmm. Um, 
I got it in the background now you don't have headphones. <laughs> but so, I, mean, I can imagine it. It's very engaging. It's very bright. It's a colourful song. I know there's strange words to describe it, but like, I don't know. It's it's sometimes you see like sounds as like colours and like pictures and like other senses. No, no, completely. It's like how yellow can be happiness to a lot of people. Right. Red can display loss. Blue can display beauty. Like everything right. has a sort of some the people mean things. Track seven, under. <laughs> God damn! I initially thought, is that song too busy? It's, it's like in, it crescendos up a couple times. That was perfect. But then waves come crashing down, he's saying. I feel like he's constantly supposed saying to like, be. That's like what, under, under, under. Right. Under. Like really like low key in the background of the, of, the, of the beat. I can see you really vibing to it though. Oh, I really am. Yeah, I really, really I really, the, that track, the last track, have really like pulled me back in. Not that I was like bored with this album, it's just more the fact that I said like I'm not like this sort of music is harder to resonate with me compared to music that I'm more familiar with. Yeah. So those la- this track and the last one really like whew, really good. Track eight, Timmy's prayer. Just the fact I love the switch up. Oh yeah, how it like, kept building and layering towards mm. the end and added instrumentation because this has actually already been released. I think this is one of the first singles that came out mm. and it doesn't, I, to my recollection, doesn't sound like this. Um, he's added some, some instrumentation to it to make it sound bigger, larger, more exciting, lively. I was a little bored to begin with though. Well, in that boredom, I, I had this thought come to mind. Like, this is the power of Samfer and this type of music. It made me think, as I'm constructing a, I'm about to text my girl, mm. if I died tomorrow and you found out you were pregnant, would you keep the baby? That's what this music made me think of. It just, it just came the to my fuck, mind. fuck, man? Where does that come from? It makes you think the, like... I don't know. It just made me, made me just, I don't know, reflect on things. It's, it's a, a weird, nice song. Man, it's like how Triple X made me think about asking you what you'd be if you were a dinosaur, man. Like, things just make you, <laughs> things just make you feel... <laughs> Actually, I went to a daydream and I started daydreaming about playing video games. I was thinking who I was. I play League of Legends a lot. Oh I was trying to thinking. I was. I went to daydream of playing a Nautilus game, but then I was thinking of man, maybe I want to play a brand game. But like you know, you ain't know what I'm saying. But like, no, some some people do. So some people, yeah, yeah. So that's what I. That's what my daydream was. Oh, quite different. Yours is cool though. On the, you got a message? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it. I just I nearly finished it. Um, it's a. What did you do if you said Shane gone keep it? It's, it, you know, it's, You're dead, man. It's not my decision. It's, it's the woman's decision. <laughs> you got to respect that from the grave or not. She'd keep a man. Look at you. <laughs> a, a part of me believes you, though, <laughs> because I know her. <laughs> but, uh, uh, another beautiful track. Second last track, Incomplete Kisses. You just lose yourself to this man. Mm-hmm. What do you daydream about that time? Hmm. Can't really remember. Not much, but um, probably not one of my favorite tracks. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bit it's repetitive. This, for my yeah, liking. It's, it's not the standout. I didn't really pay much attention to the lyricism, um, but there's obviously some 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 meaning there for him and some significance there for him, as with most of Sanford's work, I believe. Hmm. Last track, track 10, Sanfa, What Shouldn't I Be. Sorry, that's just What Shouldn't I Be, not Sanfa, What Shouldn't I Be, just What Shouldn't I Be. Thug. What 
it should not be, it's not all about me. It's the last line to end the album, to end the art piece. Process. That is process. It's a process, man. It's a process thing. It's all a process. You gotta love the process. I fucking love for the process. I live for the process. I live for it. You need more goofy music because you just naturally like got the goof in you. <laughs> so it's like that um, whole that whole track. I was just imagining myself being Nautilus and just throwing the most. <laughs> <What> the <fuck? laughs> you went just, back to Nautilus. <laughs> I'm a Nautilus man. Oh. And I was just imagining myself just throwing the perfect oh, cues and and like oh. my cues are in like slow motion and I was just like hitting them. You know, just, Jungle like, Beats gaming is a, is gonna happen. Jungle Beats gaming. Jungle gonna Beats happen. gaming is coming. Oh, that whole track was know just if it's the perfect coming. Nautilus cues. I'm a hook god, by the way. Hashtag hook god. Oh my god. Blitz thresh naught. It has to come more. because you. you 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 are like this, so it has to come. Right. You got to somewhere to put all I'm that energy. I'm bronze three. That is, I'm that's, fucking, that's bad. I'm, I'm diamonds, man. In this bitch. You do know diamonds an actual thing. Yeah, I know it's a thing. You ain't platinum, though. You ain't master, though. It ain't Ralph, though. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't Ralph, though. All right, all right. Album verdict. Um, You'll be heading back to it. You'll be fucking to this. This is positive. <laughs> no doubt. The whole playlist. Uh, Look, and obviously, it's a testament to the album. You lose yourself in it. You daydream. You, it's not, you don't need to do this. You don't need to sit no, with it. No, this is what I, I'd go back to this album purely for if I'm in a if I want if I'm in a state where I want to meditate or reflect on something. This is perfect for that. And that last track was definitely kind of a, a meditation type music very, if very. you're familiar with it. Mm. Um, with the light, very light Japanese kind of Asian style influence. Yeah, um, but this this album is is beautiful. It's cohesive. We just start to finish. It works really well. It's the production was really nice. His voice was always there. I I know his voice to me is like I'm not sure if I like it, man. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Like, it's beautiful, but I just feel like his range is limited in how for how he can use his voice because he does have a beautiful voice, but he never like gets too low or too high. He's always at that same sort of pitch. Oh, interesting. And I feel like okay, okay. because his voice is so unique, you can get over that fact. But for me, I want to see him do more with his voice. Because mm. at, sta- at stages, like, I was still lost in, in hypnotic trance, but there were stages where I was just a little bored of it. What I like about you is you're always trying to push the artist. Yeah. You're never letting them have a pass. And that's great. Even Big Sean before, you're always like, all right, let, let's do more. Let's let's create... I'm, I always want to push an artist so they can do the best they can possibly do. Right. Push them to the edges and the boundaries. And I think that's great. And I think that's a point that I wouldn't consider upon first re- listen. Mm. Uh, but for me, the way this is going, I'm sure this will be a, uh, a top album for me of, of 2017. Mm, um, but, yeah, not many words need to be said about an album like this, even though we've probably said too much. Uh, mood music, man. Yeah. We're going to come back to this and feel it. Um, I think Sanford did a great job. Sanford, you, I think you're an incredible artist and musician, and you have an incredible voice. And if I had a voice half as good as yours, shut this shit down, because shut it down. But I don't. Yeah, if I had a voice a, like a core as good as him, pussy flow in my direction. It, it, pussy flow in everybody's direction with a voice like that. <laughs> but maybe Sanford ain't about that life. He doesn't seem like about that. Nah, life. he seems really. Just seems like a pretty chilled out cool dude that's just happy like just with his piano with his family with his friends it would be amazing to sit down with him and one on one and have a conversation for yo, me anyway yo um, because I, I heard he's kind of a more reserved person so he rarely does things like that mm. but you know Sanford thank you for creating this body of work uh, really appreciate it um, process reaction review Jungle Beast Radio Finn Finn. We don't really have an outro. We don't have really have an intro, really. We kind of do, like, so he's probably... We how really about, we, how about at the start of this, we just put, like, us reacting to, like, a fucking banger and then just straight to Sanford? 